Jarvis, I'm customer service in Mantic Games. My name is Martin Thurwell, I'm the Global Trade Marketing Manager for Mantic Games. I am Rob and I am the, I guess I'm the social media person for Mantic Games. My name is Video Matt and as the name suggests I'm the video content producer for Mantic Games. Hello, I'm Duncan, I'm a graphic designer and layout artist at Mantic. I'm Ronnie. So I'm Kirsten, I am the resin caster here at Mantic. I've been here six months now, casting all the exciting resin that we've got coming up. Hi guys, my name is Kyle Prezelinski and I am the North American Trade Sales Executive for Manta Games. What that means is I take care of everything for sales and service in North America. So if you have retail stores and locations that you want to carry our product, I am the guy that can help you out and get it in the store so that you can play our games and have a blast with them, especially Kings of War. So my name is Sonny and uh, basically I'm starting up a Kings of War army and that's it really at the moment. We're just learning how to start a new army. I've not done Kings of War before. Like some kind of madman, I have decided that the army I'm doing is a horde army and it's a goblin army. And this is actually the second goblin army I've done. I've already got 3,000 points, but uh, I decided why not go a little bit crazy and, and do another one because I hate myself. I am currently working on my Undead Brotherhood, which is basically using the rules for Brotherhood, but using models for the undead. I'm doing the horrific Night Stalkers, Crawlers, Night Stalkers, Crawlers, Stalkers. So the army I'm working on for the Road to 3rd edition is the Basileans. Night Stalkers, Crawlers, whichever one they're called, was very intriguing, but for reasons that will become obvious, I'm going to try and finish my Dwarf army. I'm doing Northern Alliance. The army which I'm doing are the Dwarfs. I'm joining Ronnie on this. Um, I think I'm the only duplicate army, uh, but I just couldn't resist them. For my Road to 3rd edition, I decided to do the Forces of Nature. It's an army that I started uh, a while ago in 2nd edition, and I built up. I had a little bit of salamanders, um, it, just some basic kind of mixes of, of bits and bobs, and I was using some non-Mantic miniatures. Well, since I'm working for Mantic now, I want to make sure that I do everything in uh, Mantic miniatures, and I've got uh, an obsession with doing all of the elements. Uh, I really am excited uh, if and when we ever do some air elementals to completely round this out. But what I've done is essentially taken the three major elements that we've done miniatures for. So I've got a bunch of earth elementals, fire elementals, and uh, the water elementals as well, and then a couple of druids to back them up because you just really need those mechanics to work out for you. And the Druid in 3rd edition has got some really nice abilities to complement each of these types of units. So the army I have chosen for this one is Ogres, uh, simply because they're nice and easy to paint and it's a dream to do. <laughs> Why have I chosen Goblins? Good question. Uh, I, I mean, to, to be honest, I absolutely love Goblins, so it was kind of a no-brainer. I was thinking of doing Ogres because they'd got Goblins in, but then I realised why not just go the whole hog and do Goblins. But I guess another big reason is because I've been playing a lot of Vanguard, which, and I've been playing Goblins in that, I'd actually already painted up a load of things for that, so I've kind of done it the opposite way around. I've already got the, the heroes, and now I need to do the hordes. So things like the Big Git, Wiz, uh, Kuzlo, the Wing Git, uh, and also the Morpup Launcher as well. Kind of all those are going to be making their way into third edition, so I wanted to use those. I've not the most experienced at, at Kings of War. I've dabbled around a little bit with, uh, with Undead in the past, um, but when I saw the new, it was basically when I saw the new um, the Clansman kit, I just liked the idea of screaming hordes of hairy, um, unwashed Northmen. It requires a little bit of customization, um, but it's allowed me to do things like use our Undead uh, Vampire on Pegasus. Um, and then switch out some units uh, from like the Soul Reavers to give them a different rider so they look a little bit different. Um, and then it allows me to do quite creepy, freaky stuff like uh, instead of water elementals, I've got my blood elementals. Yeah, so there's a. I wanted to first of all see the different types of flesh tones I could get on them, uh, see how. what I could do, because there's less model count. I wanted to see. The next effect I want to go for is actually putting Woad onto my Ogres. So at the moment I've only got the skin tones, I've got everything, the basics down. But next task is literally Woad because I, I love the idea of having blue tattooed faced uh, Ogres running into combat. So yeah. <laughs> 
No naked ones so far. <laughs> uh, well, it was new, so it was launched in January this year, um, and you know I've been flip flopping around around which to do. I started the dwarves, I started uh, Trident Realm, and then I decided on something more horrific that fits my personality uh, and my my nightmares on a daily basis. So uh, I went with the Night Stalkers. So I chose the Basileans because they are a human faction in a world of monsters and fantastical creatures. And I always find that really interesting. They've got a nice mix of armor, cloth, skin tones for painting. Uh, they remind me of Heroes of Might and Magic, the human faction, which I was a big fan of when I was younger. And my very first tabletop army was a human army as well. So new system, repeat the old. It works. So I've chosen the dwarfs because I've just come off the back of doing my Forge Fathers for Dead Zone and I was having a really good time painting sort of your tins and your brasses uh, just for really fun plate armour. So I thought what I want to do is paint some more angry little men. Uh, so, so far I've got a Shadow Hulk, which was the first model I painted. Um, it was a delicious piece of uh, plastic and resin. Um, and I went slightly away from the um, studio colour scheme, so I went kind of reds and oranges just to make it so, you know, a point of difference from what we've got currently. Um, I've got a terror in there, that was an, also a great model to paint. Uh, lots of tentacles for people into that sort of thing. Okay, so I've got two, uh, two hordes of butchers, um, and with the um, Shadow Hulk that forms the butcher's block formation. Um, I've got a regiment of Shadow Hounds, which I finished yesterday. Um, which looking quite nice, especially with the resin uh, upgrade pieces in the in the set. Um, got a regiment of fiends, which were interesting to build, but they came out really really nice. Um, I've got a void lurker. Now we haven't got a model for that, so I used uh, the conqueror worm from Hellboy, and that's come out quite nice as well. Um, I've got two models from my Vanguard uh, warband. One is the mind screech, and the other is the butcher flesh ripper, and they're two heroes that work in the Kings of War army. I've done, in the middle of painting a, a frost giant, I've done some ice elementals, um, a snow troll prime, which I might replace with a new snow troll prime kit when that comes out. If we announce that, that that's probably fine. And, um, and a thane. So the units I've done so far are two regiments of ironclad, a steel behemoth, and two Iron Belcher cannons with their crew. So I'm getting there very slowly. Uh, everyone else had a bit of a head start against me, um, but I'm slowly catching up. So far I have done my first crossbowman regiment and I'm just putting the finishing touches to the Sisterhood Scouts. Well, that's it, so what units have I done so far? Well, I've done two hordes, uh, obviously all the Vanguard stuff, so I've done a horde of rabble and a horde of spitters. Um, which comes to a whopping 300 points. <laughs> so I've got to do another like 1,700. I want to do 2,000 points. I've also decided rather insanely to do full model counts as well, which is good. So that's 40 goblins on each horde and then obviously 20 for like the flea bags as well. So um, yeah, I've set myself a real challenge. And it's just to check, it's October 2020, the release, isn't it? Um, no. <laughs> good. Well, this is going to be a big long list. The units I have done so far are six ogre uh, warrior hordes, six more, six more, <laughs> and three ogre shooters. Because, again, I hate myself just like Rob does. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, I so far I've done um, my uh, two water elementals. So I've done a greater water elemental and a horde of water elementals. Um, I plan to do another unit of them um, to have two hordes of blood element elementals. Um, I have done a Lord on Dragon, which was in the Mantic blog. Um, that was my first thing I did because I wanted to do something really big and chunky and as a centerpiece to the army. Um, and now I'm currently working on a converted unit of uh, Brotherhood on Foot, which is basically Foot Knights, um, and uh, two heroes, which is a Necromancer from the Vanguard Undead, um, and also a converted Halfling Vampire. 
So far I've done the earth elementals. Obviously I'm kind of cheating a little bit because I had uh, those guys done ahead of time. The two hordes of earth elementals and then the greater earth elemental. So these units have seen some changes in third edition, which uh, introduces some significant reasoning for me to want to take them. The earth elementals in particular, uh, they have the brutal rule now. So uh, when they hit stuff, it just kind of adds to the punch of what they're doing that makes it really effective. And it's pretty important for me because I want the strong heavy units to stick. Uh, I've also done up my water elementals. So I'm doing three regiments of those. And then I also have the greater water elemental. So what I'm doing is trying to take multiple units of each, but then also pairing it with their greater elemental counterpart as a, as a monster or Titan. Uh, so that I have some nice little uh, surge tricks that I can do and, and kind of take advantage of the height differences between the units. So it's important for me to have that little bit of mix in there. Um, so earth and water are complete and uh, what is next is going to be the fire units as well. I'm going to also take two hordes of them just like the earth elementals. Uh, I'm trying to go for that very classic hammer and anvil approach where the earth elementals are going to take the punch fire elementals can come in and hopefully surge into the side or, or possibly clean up the units that can't kill my earth elementals. They've got high nerve, high defense, and then the, the fire elementals have got uh, some wonderful crushing strength rules like vicious that make them extremely effective in combat and are able to put out a lot of points of damage onto the enemy units. So hopefully it complements well. And then the water elementals, just uh, some extra speed, some regeneration. I think they're gonna make some good screening units, especially uh, that and also to sort of do some distraction maneuvers or possibly go claim an objective if I need it. Since nine years or since since we started this whole new painting splurge? Since we started this whole new painting. Well, well I've thought about it. I've, I've pondered and pontificated. I've planned, I've designed my strategies and we're very close now to making some purchases and including undercoating, which I do enjoy. It's not zero. <laughs> well, that, that you can't rush, you can't rush the planning phase, you see. You've got to make sure it's a well-balanced and well-rounded army. So I've got a list of what I'm going to get and I can tell you what I already have. But if you're asking specifically the detail of what I've painted so far since the Kings of War 3 announcement, the answer is indeed a somewhat smaller number than that. So up next for my army is my Earth Elementals. So I'm doing a horde of Earth Elementals and then a greater Earth Elemental. Uh, I'm trying to do them in an unlock order so they can stay a bit legal. So I I'm, I'm, might be able to play as I'm, as I'm still building up stuff, which would be good fun. Uh, but yeah, definitely the horde of Earth Elementals next, which I'm really looking forward to doing. I, I believe like doing, get all the the horde type of unit, yeah, for Ogres, horde is six for me. So I'm <laughs> I'm gonna actually start doing the good old giants because I've not painted a giant and that's the kind of thing I wanna do now. So I've got two giants uh, and possibly, possibly a mammoth. Uh, and again, I might go with woad on them as well. So next, uh, I'm gonna do two troops of reapers. Um, I'm gonna paint those slightly different. I'm gonna do those kind of a black maybe a cobalt blue tinge to them so it kind of offsets from the oranges and, and reds I've been doing so far. Um, also got a troop of phantoms on the way. Um, they're all based in basically red so I've gone back to my original colour scheme. And I've also got another terror um, I've built and I'm uh, base kept it as well. So three more uh, nice things to do for nightmares. <laughs> What's up next? Well, mainly crying about the task at hand. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. But apart from that, I think I really need to do, because I realized this morning when I was checking, I, I can't, because spitters are irregular, I, I can't unlock a lot of what I've already painted for Vanguard. So at, the minute, so at the minute, I can kind of unlock one monster, like one hero. Um, so I need to kind of really concentrate now on another horde of rabble. Although I have got another horde of spitters to do, uh, and then some flea bag riders. So once I've got those, and some trolls, and then once I've got those, it's all gravy. I think I'm, I'm doing a unit of Brotherhood on horseback uh, next, and then I will be doing my uh, Pegasus unit. Next will be a Spearman Regiment, and then another Crossbowman Regiment, and then probably reward myself with some LHI. Well, I, I quite like some of the stuff that's come across from Vanguard, you see. They're, they're still juggernaut. 
you know, good chaps you know, get in there and they're quite good fun so I'm going to look forward to those painted one uh, for Van Gogh and make a total hack hash of it so I've got a chance to do it slightly better when I do it for my uh, Kings of War army Flame Priest throw a bit of fire in you've got to like a bit of fire um, you know I'm loving it in Borderlands 2 and playing that again at the moment a lot of fire weapons there so Flame Priests Flame Thrower all good got one of those obviously in the army already and then the Mastiff Packmaster because you know who doesn't like throwing dogs at goblins and seeing them gnaw their way through someone else's army while they burst into tears and then just for balance I've only got 57 pieces of artillery so far, so probably another half a dozen of those just to round the dwarven aspects off. So the thing I'm most excited about for Kings of War 3rd Edition is mainly just the entire rule set. I've come from skirmish games, so your dead zone, your vanguard. So I'm looking forward to having a rank and flank, having big armies on the board and seeing what the scenarios are like. Because um, yeah, coming from six miniatures max kind of thing and then and then into these these massive things I'm, I'm really excited to see what we can do with that it might sound kind of cliche to say it but the thing i'm most excited about for king's war third edition is how much the game has grown since second edition i came on board in july i think of 2015 so right toward the start of second edition and to be a player and a community member that was able to help grow with the game uh, is a big deal to me. And then also now as a part of Mantic, it's just a tremendous opportunity to be a part of a game system that I love. Uh, it is by and large the greatest hobby in my life. It's my work, it's my friends, it's all this stuff put together in one place. And Kings of War has defined that exclusively. So to be a part of this game and this release is a huge deal for me and I'm really excited to see what happens in third edition because I am fully confident that it'll grow just as much if not more in third edition. We're going to bring in new players and new faces and make new friends all over the place. So it's a great way to be a part of the game and the company um, and the community as well. So couldn't be more excited. Uh, I've always wanted to have a massive army. Um like in front of me so I can say like I've done this um, and I've tried on as I say two or three occasions and I've always kind of fallen at the uh, fallen at the first gate as such <clears throat> so uh, having nearly 2,000 points already um, and I'm just building and building and painting until uh, until the third edition is actually launched so who knows how what what uh, what amount of army I'll have built by then how many points maybe over 3,000 to beat cleric I don't know we'll see but uh yeah, it's really been going really well, and uh, just to have that, you know, that big army in front of me opposing the opposition. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Ooh, I think the new monsters coming out probably. Thankfully, they've been the renders have been shown off, so I can mention them without getting shouted at. Uh, the phoenix is stunning. Well, definitely have to get one of those. Just some of the different mission types, like um, stuff that I'm not allowed to go into, but some of the. The new missions in the book sound really, really fun. Um, I'm just excited to jump in from the start because um, I jumped in on the end of this edition. So um, I haven't really memorized the book because I didn't want to learn too much because if anything changes and things like that. So um, just looking forward to playing Rank and Flank again. Well, I, you know what? I think, I mean, obviously, I come at it from a slightly different point of view, but when Kings of War 2 came out, we'd, we'd finished it and then the kind of schism happened and all of a sudden it went big and it went global. What I'm super excited about is just we've had time um, enough and resources enough to do what I think is the ultimate job on it. It's not been through Kickstarter, it's come out when it's ready. You know, we, we looked at it last year, wasn't ready. We've had a great team from the Rules Committee, Matt, here internally the, the photography team the graphics team you know ben and duncan it just looks so grown up and fantastic and polished and you know each time it moves up a step but i think this time it's moved two or three steps and i just can't wait to get my hands on it it feels like it feels like the rank and flank mass battle war games rule book. i'm excited to finally get regular games in and really sort of learn learn this game laying out the rule book i've uh, uh, it's the same with, with any project, you know, you, you work so closely with it and become excited about it in, inevitably, so yeah, just just excited to try it out. What am I most excited about for the edition? I think, from what I've seen in the rules so far, it's a really good clean-up of everything that was good in 2nd edition has been made even better in 3rd edition. And obviously I'm clearly excited about playing Goblins again, 
Um, uh, things like the mop up rule for those is really interesting, and some of the way the units work together, like the wing it, the mop up launcher, uh, some of the stuff from you know the bang it as well from Vanguard. There's quite a lot of things that are moving over, so I'm quite excited about seeing how they perform in third edition. No, my look, they'll be absolutely awful. Uh, because I'm not actually, I've always meant to do Kings of War, and it's always a game I always just want to do and never got a chance to play due to work and whatnot. Um, it's getting more games and meeting more people out there. And I'm personally more of a, I just want to meet more of our community and get more games in, and I'm sure I will get to know them all through this. So I want to enter a few tournaments and lose and win that wooden spoon. That is me. If I don't, I'll be upset. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's just me in a nutshell. I just want to go out, have a laugh, have a few beers probably, if I can do. <laughs> It'd be great, kings of wars and beer. Kings of beers. <laughs> and that was really my favourite gaming moment.